Thank you so much, dear viewers. It's Yusuf Yakubu Fise, Mount Carmel Christian Concert Center. This week, we're coming your way again with sermons, the moment of truth sermons. We truly believe that you have been so, so blessed. I'm really blessed. And I want to believe that the Lord is also blessing you. The purpose of the um, moment of truth sermon is to be able to bring the word of God lively before us. Is to be able to make it so simple that we all understand. There is no complications in the word of God. It's the truth that is given unto man that by it we are liberated. It's not a complicated science, but it's the living word of God. Now, when we follow the truth, when we act according to the word of God, we get liberated. I believe in today's series, you will certainly be blessed. Our topic this new week is your value will bring you values. Your value, your inherent value, that which the Lord God Master Builder deposited in you, if well nurtured, if well manifested, will bring you several values. I believe you're loaded. Come join me, even as we dig deep into the Word of God. We are taking um, a simple reading from Matthew chapter 5, 13 to 16, where the Word of God says, let your light so shine that men may see your works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The Bible says you are light and I'm light. We're supposed to shine. Your value as a human being, as an image, extension of God, is to be able to shine. When you get into communities where there's virtually no light shining, per se, it doesn't matter wherever you are, in America, in Europe, in Asia, wherever you are. Once you get into a place where there's no light, where darkness is raining, you will not find it pleasant to dwell in there. Because God, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, he says, Let us make man in our image. And the image of God is light. Jesus says the truth is the way. And that is light, he is life also. So once there's light, life is always there. We want to share a little bit on certain truths that will guide us. To live a victorious life. The first thesis we want to bring forth today is that the value we bring to bear or contribute will determine the scope of the value that that will come to you. The amount of your contribution to your society, to your family, be you a husband, be you a wife, be you a child, will determine the value that will come to you. You don't envy other people who are progressing. The most important thing is to ask yourself, what is it they are doing differently? Nations are rated according to the values they bring forth to the global community. The word of God says, the one who begs, the borrower is a servant to him who learns. He who learns out is more valuable in the sense that he contributes greatly to the lives of many people. And so you will be respected according to what you contribute. The global economy is begging for active participants. Remember last time we talked about the kingdom of God having no place for spectators. And so also today we want to emphasize this fact that what you contribute will determine the value that will come to you. 
God has deposited in us so much of valuables. Those you can touch. Those you cannot feel. Man's brain is so loaded, so complicated, that he can think deep, he can progress deep, he can offer solutions. But when we make ourselves to be irrelevant, we don't expect anything to come our way. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16 is saying that you let your good works, let your light so shine that men will see and then give glory to our Father who which is in heaven. You are sent here for a purpose. And when you begin to manifest the purpose of God in your life, you become a great contributor to the expansion of the kingdom of God. Let's take some few examples of people that contributed so much and so much was given to them from the word of God. We take Joseph as an example. In Genesis 39, 2 to 3, we hear that Joseph though was a servant, a slave, sold to Potiphar. But he became a blessing. He became a key for prosperity in the family of Potiphar. As a result, Joseph was so elevated. You are not a slave, you are not a servant. Yet you need to ask yourself, what do I contribute to my place of work? How much are you contributing to that place where you're working? Are you seen there as a devourer or are you seen there as a builder? Are you a destroyer of life or lives or are you a builder? Each time we destroy ourselves, we kill human beings, we shed innocent blood. God is troubled and the blood of man brings about curses to lands. Why? Because Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27 clearly states that God said, let us make man in our image, killing a fellow human being outside the ambits of the law. It's a serious sin that brings curses to lands. Many nations are yet to recover from such curses. The consequences of such are simply because killing a man, killing a fellow human being, means damaging the image of God. Now who can battle with the Lord? Who can destroy that which God has built? Jesus said, I build my church upon this rock and that the gates of hell shall not prevail. So when you strive to destroy the image of God, which is man, you're damaging, you're making attempt to fight God. And so what you receive for not contributing to building man, but destroying man, is a, an everlasting curse. I pray that God will deliver us from that. Back to Joseph. Joseph contributed so much. His righteousness was so upright that he was elevated. Even though he ended up in the prison, but from prison he went into the palace. And even in the palace, we are told that Joseph interpreted dreams. He never gave up. He was always adding value and values came to him. You don't compare yourself to those who are adding more values than you are doing. All you need to do is not to envy like Cain against his brother Abel, but do what is pleasing to God. Contribute your own quarters the best you can and the best will come your way. Daniel, Daniel chapter 5 verse 29, we are told also that because the spirit of excellence was found in Daniel, Daniel was given a robe of scarlet and gold chain. He was elevated above the magicians, the philosophers of his times. Rhetorics will not take us anywhere. But valuable contributions will bring you the robe of scarlet and gold chain. So when you see a man in the robe of scarlet and gold chain, don't envy him. Ask yourself, what is the secret behind this endowment? And that will take you very high. The moment you begin to do the right things, the right values will come to you. We're told Daniel was made 
a president and his other fellow brothers were made governors of various provinces. Why? The simple reason is they were bent on pleasing God. They feared God. The word of God says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Excellent wisdom comes as a result of the fear of God. What about Jesus Christ? It's an example of us in the word of God. The entire story of the New Testament is about Jesus Christ. His birth, his death, and his resurrection. And he's coming back again. Jesus is so respected today, far and above every other prophet, simply because he laid his life down for you and for me. Because he needed a valuable crown. A crown that was so invaluable. And Jesus wanted to bring to himself all the children of God. Christians, Muslims, pagans were all of the same source. That were lost as a result of the sins of Adam. And because you are so precious to God, because you are his image, Jesus had to give his invaluable life. That's the reason why he had to die. Otherwise, there were bulls and cows that could have been offered. But the Father, God himself felt, to be able to repurchase his image that was damaged by sin, as a result of the fall of man, God had to give his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who in turn laid down his life so that we can be raised up. It is the value he contributed, incomparable value, that he's exalted and given a name that is above every other name, according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 7 to 11, that Jesus so humbled himself, he died that death on the cross in order to get us back to himself. And so now that we're celebrating, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you, please rethink your values. Rethink what you contribute to humanity. This is just not the time only to drink and make merriment, but it is a time to contribute your best. Jesus was the best of God that was given to mankind. And as a result, he has a name that is above every other name. I want to thank you so much that you're blessed by this uh, moment of truth. By way of summary, the value you bring to bear will determine the scope of valuables that will be given unto you. Remember, you're not empty. Remember, God so created you fearfully and wonderfully. So much in you that you can show forth so much in you that in this time of festivity you will cause your light to shine and your good works to be manifested that our father which is in heaven will be glorified it's moment of truth i hope today's moment of truth is a blessing to you i wish you all the best and i want to pray for you that father the values you have placed in your children who are following us, who are listening to this broadcast, will be manifested this time. The grace to be able to manifest our light and our good works, give unto all those who are following up this program. I pray that the peace of the Lord will rest in your homes this season. And for those who are yet to surrender their lives to this master who came, laid his life down for you and me, that you will understand that he's the Prince of Peace and that when you give your life unto him, he gives you back light that will shine forevermore. You are born to shine. May the grace of the Lord abide with you so that you can shine this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Nations that have been reigned over by darkness, we declare in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that light will come forth and these nations will begin to spring forth 
and do the right thing and contribute their quarters in the mighty name of Jesus. Till we come your way next week. It's Yusuf Yaku Fise, Montgomery Christian Concert Center. Please feel free to subscribe so that we can let you know other new things that the Holy Spirit has given to us. Thank you. God bless you.